Well, good morning. It's the weekend. I needed a little bit of retail therapy on this weekend, a three-day weekend for my children all being home. So I decided to come out this morning to see if I could find a few things, some treasures to buy and flip for a profit. It does seem to be my therapy these days, and I've had a lot of success in finding things. Um, just this morning, I sold a uh, Remco 1965 baby doll that I had purchased for $1.99 just a week ago. Sold it for $40 this morning. So that to me is a clear indicator that I'm doing things that um, I should be doing. I'm using my gut instinct and following, following my lead of uh, where this journey is taking me. And I hope this morning that you decide to come along, see if we can find some things. It's only been a quick 24 hours, maybe even less, and I'm hoping maybe that um, the workers here at Goodwill have put out some new carts and we can find some things. So let's go see what we can find. There's a new cart. Pumpkin spice and everything, please. $1.99. All right. Stay here with my personal. It's a mold. Just look at this scene. in the card. Singer sewing machine. I'm going to look that up. International harvest for eight dollars for all that. Made in Poland. Those are chips. That's a good start.
Is that, is that your yes. You need me to move it? I was just trying to go through Okay. Thank you, though. Mm-hmm. over so I don't know what this animated patchwork seems to Mm -hmm. rubber lid. Mm -hmm. There's one on the cart over against that window. Oh, there's, there's a cart there? Burger. Oh. And it's never been used. It's a cancer survivor. It's got the pink oh, ribbons on sweet. it. Oh, sweet. I'm headed that way. There's. I didn't know there was a cart over there. Thank you. Yeah, I, I feel you on that one. Thank you. Ooh, thanks for the tidbit. Let's see. Oh, heavens me. Oh, heavens me. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, I don't mind if I do. glorious. Love it, love it. And all the baskets. Let's see what else is up here. This beautiful little bird that makes music. How cute is that? It seems to be my favorite word is cute. And I'm trying to stay away from that word. Pretty light angels. And I'm liking this because this appears vintage. A little bizarre. It's not super vintage. Okay, and those were some good, good, good finds. Cheryl and Company, four ninety nine. And I like these flower possibles. Portuguese flower, two to two fifth, five ninety nine. I do like those. 
All right, I've decided um, that the plates and the sewing machine is worth it. Um, I can sell the sewing machine and make about a uh, $15 profit. And the this is interesting. I'm not sure what that is. There's some ribbed depression glass bowls. Um, I decided that the plate set is worth it as well and the Lanka Burger mug is a nice find. Not sure about this little whale lamp at $7.99. I might plug that in and look that up. The plug is an older model. I mean, it is kind of a sweet little whale but it may be more common. And then I don't know about the temptations at $5. I'd say that's probably not worth it. So we'll probably put that back. I'm going to hang on to it for right now until I'm certain. I don't want to have any impulse buying just because I like it and I like the print. I'm here to make money. It doesn't look like much has been added on this end cap. I found these Nike dry fit golf performance pants. They're 3830 men's in really excellent condition. I always check the zipper and the button to make sure that they're intact, make sure there's no holes in the crotch, and make sure that the bottoms look on one. These look um, like they've never even been worn. So I'm gonna get these for $4 and uh, I think 79 cents. Um, I'll be able to turn and flip those. I have to look those up for about 20 to 25 dollars. And then I did pick up this Farm Fresh Eggs sign here that is just really fitting for my my farm and for my chicken coop. It is 5.99, a little bit more than what I'd like to spend, but I think um, in the long run it'll speak volumes and uh, make a statement. I wanted to show you a few last things before I head out the door here. I found these sweats by G Gradual, brand new with the tag. They are men's like training track pants. So at $4.79, I saw that they're listed some brand new for $50 to $75. Uh, even if I get $20 to $25, I'll be pleased. And then I wanted to show you that they brought out two new carts of Z-Racks of clothing and one pair of Miss Me with the embellished back pockets as well as a pair of Rock Revival jeans, but look at the price sticker on there, $19.99, $19.99. I can't touch those. Um, they sell for anywhere between 30 to oh, 35 online, maybe $40. So that would not be worth my time and effort. So I'll be putting those back straight away. Um, maybe in the meantime, they'll bring out something else new. And if not, we're gonna wrap this up and head out the door. 
Okay, I was right. I would say that that was a fairly lucrative visit today. I just had a feeling on a Saturday morning that we would find lots of new carts and lots of new Z-Racks, things in brand new, um, to new condition. And unfortunate thing is, is that everybody must be catching on to this game of going to Goodwill and finding things for cheap. There were tons of people in this store today and that's why I didn't do a whole lot of recording. I just like to uh, summarize this visit at the end. My total spent today was $64.82. And of that, I have a lot of clothing, some men's slacks at $4.79, some men's shirts at $4.79, uh, women's blouse also at that same price. I did find some kitchen linens, uh, drying towels and racks for $3.99 that I probably won't sell, but for $4 getting a couple of dish towels and a drying rack, um, that's a, a good price. So I may just keep that for myself. Then I did get that whale lamp at $7.99 that I did run some comps and there's quite a few listed anywhere between $50 to $75. The ones that have sold have been from $20 to $30. So I decided to still pick that up. Um, that is a very good return on investment. Now I'm not quite sure about the sewing machine at $9.99, but even if I sell it for $25, I'm not going to um, uh, make a fuss about that nonetheless. So $64.82, I'm gonna be able to turn that very well into triple my money, if not more. We hope to see you next time on the Desert Rose Emporium. Please enjoy your weekend. Like and subscribe, as my daughters say, in five, four, three, two, one. And if you did, give yourself a pat on the back. We'll see you next time.